Hello everyone, we're going to write a simple Java code to check if a number is a prime number or not. First let me quickly create a class. Prime number checker, let me take main method. Okay. So first, um, in order to write a method, because in most of the cases, they ask you to write a method in interviews. So we have to understand the logic behind it. So what is a prime number? Prime numbers are um, any whole numbers, because uh, according to mathematics, if you remember that, any whole numbers which greater than greater than or equal to 2 and have only have only have only two factors which one? one and itself it means a prime number can only be divided by one and two so for example four cannot be a prime number because it can be divided by one two and four so it doesn't meet this condition right it's not a prime number no is 7 a prime number? Yes, it can be only divided by 1 and 7 itself. I mean, there is no remainder. So we're going to write a method to check if a number is a prime number. I'm going to write a public static. I'm going to return type as, make it as um, boolean. I'm just make sure if it's a prime number, it returns true. If it's not, then it will be false is prime number I'm going to parameterize as int because every prime number is integer okay so before that I'm going to write a very simple if statement if the number is greater than or equals to one sorry less than or equals to one it's not a prime number like this, the first condition, right? For instance, zero is not the prime number, one is not the prime number, any negative number is not the prime number. Minus one, minus 10, it returns false, okay? And here's a special case because two is a prime number, okay? So we have to write else if statement, if this number equals to two, It's true, it's a prime number. Else, else, which is um, greater than two. The reason I have to put if the number is equal to, if the number equals to two, the reason is that since I'm going to write a for loop to check if the original number is divided by any number between two and itself, so that's why it cannot be, the number cannot be 2. But since 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to write an if statement, return true, right? So I'm going to write a for statement. Uh, it, starts, it starts from 2. It has to be less than the number itself, because I'm going to divide the number by this i, then until infinite positive infinite okay so I'm going to write another if statement if this number divided by I and there is a remainder the remainder operator if there is a remainder it means because if there is uh, zero it means uh, sorry if there is zero there is no remainder so if there is any rem no remainder then it's not the 
prime number. So it the return false. Other than that, it returned true. Sorry. It's supposed to be um fits in it. Number okay, I'm gonna put it here. So let me this is the method. Okay. Um yeah, I have to put here. So that it yeah, it's supposed to be here. Yeah, this is the method to check if a number is prime number or not. It's the logic behind it. And I'm going to check. For instance, I'm going to give a number, for instance, nine. Is nine a prime number? Nine is not the prime number because it can be divided by one, three, and nine. Because prime numbers can only be divided by one and nine. So let me print, check. Let's see if the, cool, the method we wrote is correct or not. Is prime number. It's great, it will return um, true otherwise. Okay, so let's check. Yeah, false, it means correct, right? Nine is not the prime number. Let's say zero. Zero is not the prime number, so it's correct. Let's say one, check one. Yeah, it's correct, let's check two. Yeah, it's true, it's pr two is a prime number. The reason I put a else if statement here because the i starts from 2 so there will be a conflict that uh, it could be 2 would be false so that's why I put it here suppose uh, 100 is 100 prime number definitely not How about 7 true yes it's prime number so this is the method to check if a number is a prime number or not okay thank you